It was a night that traumatized Mexico. Exactly 50 years ago, mainly student protesters gathered in Tlatelolco Square to challenge an authoritarian regime. Then, the unthinkable. The army trapped them and snipers mowed them down. It's marked the country ever since. Felix Hernandez was there. Aquí se veía ropa tirada, zapatos tirados, y se veían cuerpos. There were clothes and shoes strewn about, bodies lying there. We didn't know if they were dead or wounded. Shortly after, army trucks came to take them away and to clean up with high-pressure hoses. Now on the half-century anniversary of the massacre, the government has admitted for the first time that what happened at Tlatelolco was a state crime. This document explicitly recognizes the victims were attacked, slandered, some killed, others disappeared, detained and tortured. It's a big admission. Successive administrations have hidden the truth about Tlatelolco. Despite that, over time the massacre has seared itself into the country's conscience. Just to put it into perspective, Tlatelolco is about as important in Mexico as Tiananmen Square in China. It marked the point when the all-powerful pre-party, which ruled Mexico for much of the 20th century, was defied as never before. And in the party's reaction to that defiance, it also marked the point in which many Mexicans, which before had seen the party as a benevolent dictatorship, instead started to view it as a violent tyranny. Felix believes the protest movement sowed the seeds for Mexico's eventual transition to democracy. It gives some sense to his personal sacrifice. I was arrested in the building next to the square and spent almost three years in jail. Here many friends of mine died, others wounded and others disappeared. It's a very painful story. The country has new problems now. Record levels of violence. Tens of thousands have disappeared. Some of the old ones also remain. Impunity and corruption. But the example of the students of Tlatelolco continues to inspire those demanding change. We owe them for joining together for their bravery in confronting the government and demanding answers. It's a hard-won legacy that continues to resonate 50 years on. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. No,